So let me just redraw the um, diagram, free power diagram of M1 along with the coordinate system. So this is the coordinate system. There is an x-axis and there is a y-axis which is uh, perpendicular to the inclined plane. X is along the inclined plane and the two forces are one along the y-axis which we are calling the normal force and there is one force which is uh, perpendicular to the floor this is the force of gravity which we are calling as mg now the most interesting thing in this uh, diagram is the fact that uh, if the inclined plane makes an angle of theta so theta plus this angle is um, 90 and this angle plus this angle is 90 so a little bit of geometry will tell you that this angle is also theta so mg makes an angle of theta with the y-axis now we are ready for the second step so what are the external forces on the object one is F1 which I'm just calling this as F1 F1 is equal to N plus J and I think it is clear from the coordinate system I'll call this as M2 F2 and uh, this is the interesting part of the problem where I'm going to use the resolution of this force along the axis so you know the steps you've got to drop a uh, perpendicular to the coordinate axis in this case y axis and be very careful about drawing the arrows that form the resolution of mg so this vector plus this vector is actually equal to mg now this is a vector along y direction this is a vector along x direction we already know what is the magnitude of this vector it is mg sine theta and the arrow tells me that it is positive we already know what is the magnitude of this vector that is mg cos theta and the arrow tells me that it is negative and therefore it is an easy matter for me to write down this vector as mg sine theta positive i minus mg cos theta j and now we can race through the steps f x is equal to m a x f y is equal